All right, Marquise, I want to go back to when you kind of dove into the scores table and, and saved a ball. It was right in front of me. I was ready for you to dive over. I would have caught you. <laughs> when did you decide just hep check the scores table and not dive over? I'm curious about that. Um, it was just a reaction, you know. I felt like I could save it faster and quicker that way, and I just threw it up because I know my guys is, you know, bouncy. So I figured they were, they were going to save it. Um, just a hustle play that we needed um, and that, you know, I wanted to do. Um, credit to to Desi bringing in that energy, you know, first first five minutes. Um, so he is what sparked it and started, you know, the hustle plays. So what's it like to, on your second three, you launched it, you turned around, and it went in. The crowd telling you that you made the shot, not watching the bucket go in. Um, I kind of knew it was good when it left my hands. You know, it was a rhythm three. I practice those shots. Um, so, yeah. Marquise, now that you've played your final home game, um, I'm sure it's still just all trying to start still sinking in. But just what were your emotions when Coach Tang took you out of the game for the final time and you, um, you left the court? I was just so thankful and grateful that, you know, I decided to finish my career here at K State. Um, I've been on both sides of, you know, the, the field, I've been on the losing side, and now I'm on the winning side. So I was just thankful, you know, for it all. I was thankful for Gene Taylor, Coach Tang, and everybody that believed in me from day one. Tom, man, um, I'm thankful for everybody. D. Scott, all you guys who 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 been a part of my journey. Um, it's been a it's been a good ride. So. Keontae, I want to ask you about the three ball. These last few games, we've seen you start to knock some more of those down. Um, when you're able to do that, how much more does that open up your game? Um, I feel like that helps more of my teammates just getting more shots, just making the other team press up on me and then I can kick out to them or just give me the coaches and my teammates give me, make me comfortable out there. Just, uh, I'll say what? I don't even know how to say it. Um, like, it just opened the floor for us. I mean, they just give me confidence, just tell me keep shooting. Um, I've been in the gym. Um, on the off days and just trying to get extra reps and just showcasing throughout the games I've been playing. Keontae, you guys haven't lost since Desi entered the starting lineup. Why do you uh, think he's giving you guys such a lift in there? Come on, Kel. Come on, you can't <laughs> say that. That's like a jinx, man. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I mean, Desi, he plays his role the right way. I mean, he come in, give us energy when everything is going down. Um, defense, defensively, he's big for us. Uh, you see, he got a bit different stop, um, and once again to the line, and he just give us the right energy that we need throughout the game when either me or Keith are not providing. Sorry, Marquise, I won't bring up any more <laughs> stats. Um, uh, Naquan tonight only misses one shot, leading scorer. How much does he open up things when he plays that way? Man, he was big time. You know, from the from the start to the finish. Um, just whenever he plays like that, you know, we 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 are. A, different team. Um, he's like the X factor, you know, that we need and that we want. Um, whenever he could go in and get you 19 and five rebounds, you know, on any given night, I don't think we'll lose. So, you know, just seeing him have this type of game, you know, I know it boosts his confidence, but, you know, just going into March, that's something that we need. And, you know, I'm, I'm happy that he had one of these type of games. Keith, what were your thoughts going to midcourt before the game, getting your jersey? Man, I was just thankful. I was thankful and grateful um, for just being here, uh, being at K-State. You know, I was a, a mid-major guy, you know, two years ago who, you know, didn't know what his future was was going to look like. And now that I'm here, you know, I'm just embracing it. So I'm just thankful. Yeah, the same question. You, you go out to midcourt with family. I mean, what's going through your head? Just thankful. I mean, last year I had senior night, but I didn't play in my senior night. So just just want to thank God for giving me the opportunity to feel this feeling on senior night and play against the best fans out there. Um, thank my parents and the coaches for just giving me the opportunity to fulfill my dream that I wanted to do. And Keith, this team has that motto, you know, expect, expect to win. Tell me about the essence of that and how it applies to you guys now. Um, it's the habits that we created, you know, from day one, you know, just going one and know, winning each day, you know, doing everything uh, possible to, to get better. 
Um, and, you know, Coach Tang embodied that in us, you know, from the first time he stepped foot on campus. Um, and we just live by that each and every day. So now it's a habit. You know, we try to win everything that we do, win each game, win each media, win each day. Um, so, you know, this is just the re results of what, we are, what we've been doing. Can I tell you, is this team hitting its peak, or is there a higher pinnacle you guys can reach? Um, it's higher pinnacles we can reach. I mean, we still turn the ball over a lot. Um, instead of trying to make the big plays, we can just make even a simple play. So I feel like um, turnovers we can get better at, um, rebounding. I can rebound more. So it's just, I mean, it's a lot of things that we can get better. But I feel like we we are getting comfortable with each other. Um, everybody have confidence in each other and just trying to keep it going to March. So. And Marquise, what turned around after the first 13 minutes? You guys went on like three different runs and just kind of blew them out from there. I feel like we settled down a little bit more. You know, we was pretty jittery. First couple of minutes um, because of senior night and, you know, our families are here. Um, but once we settled down, uh, we played K-State basketball. We played winning basketball. And, you know, we just started moving the ball and scoring a little bit more. So we settled down. For both you guys, you guys going to miss playing inside Bramlage Coliseum at all? This being your last time? Yeah, sure. yeah man. It's the most loudest fans. Um, best feeling to play in, I mean. They brought a different side of me. I never really like showboat during games, so it was just, I mean, it was just fun. I feel like you playing back at home with your friends and just relieve the coaches, tell you go out there with freedom, so definitely will miss it. Best fan base, you know, in the country. It was electric out here tonight. Um, and, you know, when they bring that type of energy, it's, it's different. You know, we play with that passion, we play with that joy, and it's hard for us to lose, you know, when, when they come out and support. We've we, last thing I want to ask is we've heard about Bebe and how uh, great of a person he is. I think a lot of us found out that he's a husband and a father as well. I mean, what what is it like uh, to have someone like that that's so dedicated to you know everything in his life like he is? I mean, Bebe is a great person, a great man. Um, he's somebody that you could count on each and every day. He's going to give his all, um, and he just approaches each day with that you know maturity that you know he has because he is a father he is a senior um so you know we just appreciate Bebe for being here doing whatever you know we asked of him um the coaching staff I, I'm pretty sure is happy that you know they have him too um but you know we love Bebe you know anything that you know we can do or that he's been doing is just we just grateful for Bebe that's it uh, for the both of you, it's no secret that you guys have had all Big 12 caliber seasons, but when you guys have been your best as a team this year, you've had support from other players. Tonight you get 15, 9, and 8 from Desi. You get 19 from Naquan. Can you guys each explain just how much getting help from other teammates can really take this team to a new level? Um, I mean, like games like this, just it helps our team. Just seeing different players showcase um, their skills and just gain confidence going into their next game. So um, when you have multiple players and everybody locked in, I mean, this is what we're capable of doing. So I just feel like having Naquan score 19, Desi um, scoring, assisting, and then getting rebounds out there is big for us. Just, I mean, it helps me and Keith. Um, just help. I mean, it's it's hard for other teams to scout out players when we have multiple players scoring like that. So, and then I guess a follow up for you, Marquise. How, what can you two specifically do to make sure that Desi, Naquan, Cam, David, whoever it might be, can really have a big night like this as March is now here? Um, I mean, we try to do that every day. I mean, every game we try to get others involved, others going. Um, on any given night, it could be any person's night. Um, so. What you've seen today is just a, it's just a start. Um, but yeah, we could just you know keep playing with that love, that joy, that passion, that freedom that coach talk about, and you know keep believing in each other. So you know nights like this could happen more often. From the start of the year, being picked to finish tenth in the Big Twelve to now, and being in contention for one of the top seeds in the NCAA tournament, how have you guys kind of adjusted or adapted to going from being the hunter to being the hunted? Thing. Like, I still feel like, you know, we have a lot to prove on a day-to-day -day basis. A lot of people have been counting us out from day one, 
and we just been approaching that, you know, every single day like that. Um, I feel like we have a lot more to to improve, a lot more to 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 do. Um, and I don't think my guys are satisfied. Um, I still feel like we, we hunting, you know, the top teams out here. I just want to ask you about your defense on, on Sherfield and Groves. Was that Were those guys you were particularly keen on? I think you limited them to nine nine points between them today. Um, I mean, you know, those are two good players. Um, but our game plan was to kind of limit their touches um, and limit how many times, you know, they got open looks. Um, we did a good job of, you know, limit them to to less shots, I guess. Um, but it was a team effort. You know, we all was locked in from start to finish on on the game plan and on the scout. And, you know, whenever we could lock in on scout and in the, on the defensive side, you know, we are a pretty good team, so. Also, early when you guys were struggling on offense, uh, getting the, the steals and the stops defensively and the rebounding, how big was that just to keep you in the game? It was real big, I mean. I feel like when we started locking in and just um, again taking in pride of defense, I mean, the fan base got louder and then it just helped us create the turnovers to big plays on offense. And I feel like that helped us get our groove going. Marquise, you've always prayed at the uh, mouth of the Wildcat, Powercat. Any reason why? I mean, God is the centerpiece of my life. Um, I, I speak to him every night. Um, I give him all the honor and glory, you know, for everything that he's done in my life. And, you know, I just talk to him, just tell him how I'm feeling or, you know, what I want to pray about. And he goes out each and every night and answers my prayers. So if you're out there and you need something or someone that, you know, you want to talk to, I advise you to talk to God because he has all the answers. So. D. Scott Fritchin had a great article about you and your brother and about you know how he helped you get here he was here tonight did you guys get to talk or share any moments with each other before tonight's game uh yeah i mean i see my brother you know all the time but shout out to d scott for that article man he's been you know he's been you know a friend of me he's been you know somebody that you know i could look up and say thank you to um he's never had any bad things to you know, say about Marquise, and I appreciate him. You know, if I don't get a chance to tell you how much I appreciate you, I want to do it now. I thank you, and I appreciate you for the two years that I've been here, you know, for the articles and everything that you said about me, so. Thank you, guys. Thank you.